Hello everyone, my name is Michael Mumbo, co-founder of Editor of Africa and a facilitator at the Global Math Circle. Welcome to this presentation on the accessible miseries of maths by the Global Math Circle. So what is Global Math Circle? This is basically an uncompetitive series of maths discussions that brings together different students of various age groups, normally five years and above. So what does a math circle look like? Think of getting into your car with lots and lots of dif different destinations. Unfortunately, no single map. What do you do? You hit the road, you discover the destination. Precisely what Mat Circle is. So here is a list of various Mat Circles with various circle leaders. So what is the team here? We have a diverse team of shapers, not necessarily leaders. So why shapers? At the Global Math Circle, we teach no one anything. We point potential paths as the students take the peak. So the role of the shapers here is availing accessible mystery questions that guide the various discussions among the students as they take back the shepherd's role. What is the approach of the global math circle here? The, the, the approach here is exposing these young minds into accessible mysteries, exciting as well as intriguing problems that will facilitate the discussion. Take for instance, if somebody asks you, are there numbers between numbers? Hmm. How do you respond to that? But wait a minute. How about a six or seven year old kid? How do you expect this question to promote or to start a discussion among that age group? Another gateway, another approach, is that these gateways are leading or leads to the depths just within their power of imagination. Another approach is that Global Math Circle is anchored in a philosophy of tell me and I forget, ask me and I will discover. Students discover along the paths at the shepherds point potential paths. Another approach is the collegial discussion with no homework, no tokens given to students, no grades, no awards. What are you left with? Power of imagination and discovery. What people will call maths. So what's the goal here? The key goal of the global mass circle is to the individual mind. We are interested in students understanding the beautiful structures as opposed to the rote learning of mathematics. Another goal is to give students that self-confidence and admiration as they discover, as they explore maths in a fun and engaging way. Another goal is to develop their logical mindset in approaching different challenges, different life challenges. And by doing so, we believe they will develop the ability to think both creatively and critically to various challenges they come across. 
So how do we ensure maximum engagement among these students? So for the online classes, we have maximum of five students, sometimes up to eight for the offline sessions. These sessions are normally one hour that students take in exploring various challenges posed to them by the shepherds. For, for, for scalability purposes, we have been running training both in the US, Brazil, and Africa. Specifically, in Kenya and Senegal, we've been running various teacher workshops so that they can as well discover the beauty and the hidden structures of maths. Some of the impact stories that keep us moving are the feedback of some students beaming with excitement as they wait for their various classes, feedback from the parents. Not forgetting the students who are never satisfied with the one hour. Because when the one hour elapses, the no moments. Some are being puzzled by the problem that they sometimes not sleep because of the puzzling problem or puzzling challenges they have in the various math circles. Getting to see former students coming back to facilitate these circles is amazing and to ensure continuity. So for inquiry and follow-ups, please visit our website at www.globalmathcircle.com or Send an email to Mike at Africa or find us on Twitter at the Global Mass Circle. Thank you and meet you at the conference.